Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm making another video. It's on one of my favorite games and also one of my strongest addictions. So much so that the other members in the Discord go, Oh lord, he's playing Kenshi. Look! Look! And they won't see me on anything else for two months at best. Each run is a spiral deep into the world that is Kenshi. I've done about every meaningful thing in this sword punk slaver wasteland that a man can do in its vast and brutal expanse, yet I keep crawling back for more. I've broken and dissected this game so much, I think I can turn any run into a success. To gather the rarest materials, the strongest fighters, and enough laborers to build cities overnight. Yet I feel in the thousand hours I've put in this torture simulation, equal parts torture, equal parts torturer, I could do something more. But before that, let me tell you about some of my more notable runs. One of them, I ended up experimenting with the crossbows in Kenji. I had mostly chalked them up to being a coward's weapon, but I decided to give them a shot, and this is what I learned. You see, there are a few types of ammo for certain crossbows that are as follows. Toothpicks, which are light and weak, but a good option for evicting and stunlocking the unarmored homeless to death. Perfect for a cathartic release after watching your favorite bone dog get eaten by said homeless. Regulars, a standard caliber arrow good for clearing out lightly armored hostile factions like tweaking dust bandits. One of the most reliable crackhead deterrents on the market and widely available. Bolts, the fattest and only option for armored foes, which make up most of the main threats of this game. The closest you can get to throwing a sharpened cinder block at your enemy slash victim. And the absolute best reason to level up crossbows at all, the long bolts, aka BHL rounds, which stand for Bubba's Hot Load. Paired with the Eagle's Cross, you can safely deliver devastating damage from across the map, or a distance which does not violate a restraining order. This weapon can kill most characters outright with a single shot to the head or chest. Not only that, this monstrosity of a weapon can trivialize one of the biggest beasts in this game, the Leviathan. After about 20 shots of BHL, they will literally drain all of the blood they have onto the ground, leaving you to get rich quick. It's not a crossbow, it's a high speed wireless communication device, and the message is death. Yo holy shit he dead! Another small interesting thing I did before we get into today's challenge, I wanted to make a single character so strong that they could wipe out all of the shrieking bandits in the shrieking forest. For those unfamiliar, the Shrieking Forest is a fertile land, but it is inhabited by insane humans. Popular theory is they are rabid root beer drinkers gone feral from lack of root beer pheromones. Having lost all fine cognitive functions, they are little more than naked madmen with cleavers. This prompted me to level a single robot to a martial arts skill of 100. Seeing how I needed to be fluent in the only language they speak, which I had deduced that to be of intense violence, I set off to negotiate Dr. Pepper Supremacy, and it was a... Uh... It was what I would call, um... It was very, very successful. Has my root beer slander gotten out of control? Probably. But let's begin the challenge. I needed to do something that was so absurd that it would take all of my skills to thrive from such a challenge. So difficult in an already incredibly unforgiving game that it would seem like madness to even attempt. So that I would have to dig deep to become successful in such a hardcore gamer challenge. To achieve this, I installed the Bedrock Bottom Start and ooh, it is not kidding. With a small debt of a billion cats, 
means you ain't buying shit. Not like the cities will allow you to step foot in them, as relations have fallen through for all of the major factions in the game, leaving the luxuries of town out of reach. And for good measure, you also start limbless in the desert, pretty malnourished, and with health so low, you might as well have one foot in the casket. Oh wait, that doesn't work because yeah, you, uh, <laughs> you, you have no feet, or legs, or arms. I have also made some basic rules I will most likely abide by so as not to break this game completely off the hinges. If you are familiar with Kenji, then you know exactly what I mean. Things like Max Assassination for stealing any faction leader or enemy in seconds. What the fuck is this? And feeding them to the local fauna and claiming an empty, yet slightly funny victory. Or training my character using said fauna to power level to a sickening amount of attack. Or stealing the best robotic limbs within a week of hitting the start button. You get what I mean. As mentioned, these rules are no stealing OP items without a fight. Taking things from defeated foes or ransacking loot from stores after fighting for it is allowed, but absolutely no stealing OP items without a real fight. This is to stop me from crawling straight to the Black Desert City and stealing two masterwork industrial lifter arms and punching the arms off the first motherfucker that looks at me wrong. Which is pretty awesome, but makes the game stupid easy. No assassinations. It gets out of hand very fast and breaks the game flow hardcore, especially early on with gear acquisition. This is again to stop me from, say, knocking out a tech hunter and stealing their badass sword and armor. No imports. Unless the game breaks hardcore. Look, we all know sometimes it's a little hard to get those ancient science books and engineering research and AI cores and respawning the loot in the ancient ruins gets pretty tempting to get that last little book you need by using the import feature. You're gonna make me act up. <laughs> you don't make me do If you're unfamiliar with Kenji, the game comes with some baked in features that can fix some major issues it may have sometimes, especially with longer runs. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That ain't good. I fell in the bench and I'm fucking stuck now. But with those main rules out of the way, what is the point of life if you have no goals? And by proxy, what is the point of this video? Well, reach max tech level and build a small humble base. I'll need to get creative since no barding with towns means I better start looting ruins or getting creative. Collect all the Mewtwo weapons if able. These are rare and powerful weapons wielded by equally powerful users and goes in hand with the final goal. Defeat all major characters in the game. Some can wipe the floor with entire squads of hardened empire samurai or zealous holy nation inquisitors just by themselves and are usually guarded by some decently strong lackeys as well. So I will have my work cut out for me absolutely. But now that I've stated the goals and the rules and the challenge, I believe it is time to start said challenge. God damn. Time to make someone handsome. Uh, no, not feeling it. No, that would be too easy. Too basic. Oh, hang on. Alright, let's see if I can work with this. Uh... Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. What the hell is that? I think we have a masterpiece. I'm gonna be a uh, lean bean with an E on the end, so they know I'm not messing around with this challenge. There we are, just dropped into the desert. All right, so. I did some testing before, and I believe my game plan is to beeline to the water. This is the exciting gameplay that will be happening for about an hour or so. We're going to speed it up, of course, and keep an eye out for any opportune activities around us. That is a Garu hauling ass across the desert at lightning speed. Food will be an issue soon. I'm at, well, getting hungry. 
but since I'm the hybrid prince, I shouldn't need to eat quite as much. I could have just went easy mode and chose the skeleton, but I feel like that would have made it a little too easy. Oh goodness, look at that. Are they fighting animals? No. Who are these guys? Caravan guard, they will definitely down those. Oh wait. I gotta start moving now. Engage stealth mode. Okay, so I'm not gonna have quite as much meat as I wanted, but I did not get my head bitten off by giant sand bugs. So that's always a plus. Oh my god, where did that one come from? Oh! The idea is, if I reach the water, I can safely crawl along the shore all the way up to this location right around here. Once I get to the hive, I'm going to do my damnedest to steal two legs and maybe an arm or two, and then just take off. You can right past them, they have no clue. Is my stealth going up? Oh damn, I have 15 already. Jesus Christ, it's going up very high. The stealth is skyrocketing. Is that? Wait, crawling 100%? Not having legs is forcing me to crawl, therefore I am harder to see, which makes perfect sense. Oh my. Cat knocked over my TV. Um, update the cat has broken my TV. I will be right back. Alright, I'm not going to lie. Off to a bad start. It seems the cat has knocked over the television and it is now broken, but let's continue with the challenge. Uh, this starving dude just went to go pick a fight with manhunters. That is the quickest way to get enslaved. Uh, the desert does provide per free entertainment. You'll make a good slave. These guys are dead. They probably crossed some skimmers or a samurai patrol. But I might as well uh, see what they had on them. Oh man, I'm dripped out. Look at that. Those are, ooh, those, <laughs> those pants are a little stiff. My legs don't go down that far. <laughs> so I guess the pants are just a little stiff from being uh, on that corpse for too long. Oh yeah, we're making progress. And I'm already at 48 stealth. Last time I checked it, it was at 25. <laughs> what is going on over there? The one is a screaming. Oh, look at that. A fellow cripple. He's crawling way fucking faster than me, though. I hope a skimmer doesn't run past me and break my head open. Oh, look at that. Is that dead? Oh, that's a bone dog. I could eat that. All right, new plan. I'm going to sneak up to the bone dog after these guys leave. And I'm going to... I'm going to get myself some fine cuisine. All right. I have three meat. There we go. Speaking of food, I might be able to get this food to last me longer. Despite having no appendages, you can literally build a campfire for free anywhere. So there we go. Look at that. So let's see if the dried meat is a better idea. Is it? Oh. I can't even cook the fucking dried meat. Are you serious? Looks like without any arms, I ain't cooking shit today. Don't eat the other raw meat. I'll probably eat that other one by the time I get to the water. And since I've made it this far, I might as well uh, think of something clever to put here. And I have to. I could also make a faction name. I'll see how Thug Lord sits. I might change it later, but that will be the placeholder, Thug Lord. I wonder if selling does reduce that. There's no way in how you would. Uh, get out of a, bil a billion dollar debt in this game but a million might be doable i would give it a shot if it was a million but a billion there's no way yeah been at this 20 minutes since the cat knocked over the television i've been making good progress oh good god it's a skimmer i gotta which way is it heading 
Okay, it's easier to go this way. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Oh. Look at these guys get absolutely demolished. Oh, 82, 77, Jesus. Oh, there's a body here. Huh. Well, can I help him? My arms are What's he using? Oh. It's- oh, it's a, just a goat. Wait, why is the goat alone? The goat's not hostile, it's falling nomads. I just try and bite the goat as it goes by for food. The, the things I envision having this character are hilarious to me. I might seem retarded, but I, it's like I use my long neck to wrap around the goat and start biting into it like some sort of serpentine creature. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna find cuisine. Uh, don't mind if I do. Second bone dog eaten. And I am just gonna ski daddle. Don't mind me. Do not mind me. I like to imagine the way I collect the meat from the bone dog is I just slither up to it and just bite three big chunks out of it and then just crawl away. Because I have no arms. That's the only way I could do it. Just hide in the sand, wait for dogs to walk over, and then I just spring out and bite them in the neck. I have the mobility and durability of a baby seal. If I can get to this thing before it wakes up, I might be packing hella meat. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? I'm gonna bite its neck. I gotta bite its neck. I'm gonna bite your neck. I'm gonna bite your neck. I'm gonna bite it. Oh, good heavens. Pardon me. Oh. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Damn. Alright, almost to the water. Now, yeah. I mentioned I did a test run. I was testing if I could open crates with a character or take things from chests or bodies. And the other thing was I tested if you could swim. And, surprisingly enough, your character can swim with no appendages. Even that, you can become kind of submergible. So, you kind of become a naval unit at the right uh, depth of water. I should have a safe swim to the uh, to the hive here. I figured it would be easier to punch straight up and then go towards the hive, which is over here. Illegals in my yard. <clears throat> I like to think that since I'm in this water, it's nice and cool. It's hydrating the hive my hiver skin. I'm not like covered in sand and getting scorched by the, the desert heat. Dude, the water is so damn clean. It's like weirdly clean. It's like I'm like in the fucking. It, it's giving me a uh, like Hawaii vibes. Look, I'm crawling on the fucking pole. <laughs> I crawled onto the pole from the water, that was kind of cool. I'm sneaking in. <laughs> Colonel, I've infiltrated the slave camp. <laughs> I fucking love your face going straight down when you stop me. <laughs> Alright, enough wasting time. You gotta get out of here. <laughs> Man, I'm shooting. In the slow ass time it's taken me to cross this hellscape. I've started to appreciate the beauty of a big ass desert. No, I'm kidding, I wanna get out of this bitch. <laughs> oh good god! It's the biggest piece of dog shit. I got some extra crawling to do. It won't let me exit. <laughs> Capacity. I can't even open the task manager. Excuse me. I would like to start again. There it is. And she, uh, more like in task. Good news, I did not get the missing zone files prompt, but bad news is I have to swim around the fucking slave camp again. Hello, gentlemen. Don't mind me. Just fine dining in the desert. Ah, yes. <laughs> Alright, 
I'm leaving the safety of the shores. Oh, there's the village. Huh. The starving vagrants, I have to compete for them with, for food, because that guy just looted the food off of that skimmer and ran off. Ooh, I don't know if we'll come back for that one. That one might be for me. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Oh, yeah, they don't have a chance of seeing me. Not with my 100 stealth. Literally insert 100 stealth Skyrim me. Leg city, here I come. Watch, there's no legs for me to steal. <laughs> and I called across the desert for nothing. Oh, of course they put their fucking mechanical limb department across the village. Oh yeah, that's some excuse. I might just sit here and crank up my my sneaking as well. I'm going for the I'm going for the limb shop. It's time. Under the cover of darkness, I shall slither into their shop and steal limbs. Oh god, I hear him hammering. I hope there isn't lights in here. Oh, it's dark. It's about as dark as it gets. I'm I'm entering. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, there's limbs. There's limbs just sitting there. All right, all right. Do not mind if I do. <laughs> Here we go. I got some legs. Oh yeah. Boom. <laughs> A boom. I'm about to stand up. And there we go. There are so many limbs in here. Ah, nice. One after the other. Right, and then... One. One. Yep. Look at that. Oh boy. Okay. I gotta Where's get the fuck out of here. Alright, stand up and go! I'm not going very fast. I better sneak. I'm not very fast. Okay. The <laughs> robotics is negative 82. Oh. Thiefry is negative 70. I was better off stealing without the fucking lips. <laughs> My athletics is negative 58. No wonder I'm not fucking running quick. I have no fucking. Oh. That is max speed. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do what I do best. Take off my limbs. Ooh, and I'm gonna crawl in. This is kind of cool. I'm crawling in. <laughs> Look at this. Just crawling around. Oh shit. Someone's getting their ass beat. Someone's getting their ass beat. It's not me. Uh, tools. Right. Uh, dried fish. There we go. That's food. Give me that shit. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Limbs achieved. All right, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Oh God! People like you belong in a cage. Please don't Spit. beat my ass. Oh! I'm a fucking monstrosity, my own. All right. All right. Enslave this bitch! Ha! I knew it. They won't enslave someone with no legs. I'm untouchable. <laughs> Give me an inch, I'll take a mile. That arm did get fucking smashed. I don't- I, I have a feeling I can just walk in here and steal shit off the shelves and they don't give a fuck because I have no legs. Is that a way to break the game? Hello, my friends. And I pick this lock. The alarm is raised. And they're just watching me pick the lock in the middle of the floor. I'll take my hat off since I'm inside and I'm a gentleman. I've just picked the lock, oh my god. Oh, they're gonna beat my ass! No! I don't think I'm gonna wear that. Oh, hey guys. Oh, you don't see nothing. Dude, that's OP. <laughs> that's OP. Alright. If cannibals see me, they will pick me up and take me either way. So I cannot let them catch me. 
I think I'm gonna do the smart thing and run to the water and then follow the water to the actual web. Oh yeah, this is the high life. Ooh, sand ninjas. I need to follow these guys until they get fucked. Then I can steal their robes. I just hear what sounds like a shopping cart full of uh, empty Chef Boyardee ravioli cans behind them because my stealth is so low because of these mechanical limbs. Shit, they are shooting me with a fucking crossbow. Oh no, you guys totally killed me. I'm so dead. Uh, they shot me in the head twice, but I managed to survive. All right. I gotta patch that before my brains leak out. <laughs> Oh, that, that was just some toughness training. That's all that was. Hey, assholes. You may have shot me in the head, but you didn't hit me in anything important. Rebels. Leech gums up. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. That's a fucking skimmer. Maybe it'll leave me alone if I try the same trick. Oh, it did! It did! The sand ninjas went down. All right. I'm gonna run in there like a fucking vulture and steal some armor. What? What? I'm moving up in the world. What? What? And a fucking sword? Don't mind if I do. Alright, I'm fucking kidded. I don't have negative one million billion money anymore. Hmm. Uh, I guess since it, if it stays at zero, that will still pretty much prove that I haven't bought in anything. So I'll just do my best to keep it at zero. Not like I can really buy from any factions anyway. I'm on my way from misery to happiness. With the hostilities of the great desert behind us, we had gotten legs and arms. If you could call them that, our mobility had only slightly increased as we went from crawling to walking. At best, most actions were just graduating from impossible to barely possible with such appendages. But it was time to find a spot to set up a sanctuary. The first real step on a perilous journey. Somewhere to rest and figure things out in peace. But wherever Lean Bean traveled, misery seemed to be his only true companion. And it was unrelenting, like the desert's heat itself. Look at all these nooks and crannies over here. Oh, I'm near the goat tower, I think. Look at this over here. I, I can go over here. Dude, I can go over here. This is like a canyon. I could put a wall and a gate there. Like a wall here and a gate there. Or just a gate. You can't even walk over most of that. But I can't get over here. This would be fucking perfect. Can I not get over there? What? This is so cool. This is so fucking cool. This is a na this is naturally protected. Look, to get out of here, you have to walk around. I just followed. I let my character walk in there, and he had to go all the way around. The only entrance is right there. Oh, wow, holy shit. 100 here. Okay. Oh, I can cook my meat. I go to the Tower of the Goats. Got goats for neighbors. Oh, there is a chest and a safe up here. Hello, fellow goats. I am but a goat as well. Use tools. Yeah, there we go. I break it into the safe. The goats are none the wiser. I'm starting to realize that's why I woke up in the desert limbless. <laughs> because of what I'm doing right now. And this is taking a minute, even on times three speed. Ooh, I got it. What do we get? Oh no! 
That was just more bugs. Ah! <laughs> ah! You son of bitches! How did they eat the books in a lock safe? These goats, that's why they weren't stopping me from cutting it open. These sons of bitches. You sick animals, I'm out of here. This is for sure cannibal territory. Lost library I'm heading towards. So it should be somewhere over here. Strangely enough, I might be right, right next to it. Yep, runs right there. That's where it is. All right. Hopefully there's nothing bad in here. I just gotta keep an eye out. I might be able to use my crawl in technique. All right. Dun, 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 dun. It is empty. All right. Well, there's no enemies. Look, look, look. Who's knowledge? Don't mind if I do. Look. All right. I think that's about all I can get. I did get some books. Got to be careful with what I choose to research first. Like while I was searching that, some cannibals met their fate. Pick that guy up. And he'll help me train my strength. That is an entire cannibal village right on the shore. Gonna sneak through. I wonder if there's anything I can take from these guys. Oh, there's some chests in here. There's some chests in there. You know what? Might go crawl up in there and see what's good. I'm gonna be taking the other leg off though, just in case. Okay, shit. This is kind of nerve wracking crawling into this cannibal shack. If they see me, I'm going straight on one of those poles. <laughs> Alright, I'm just crawling past all the so Okay, we're talking business. Hmm, oh man. I cannot escape these cannibals if I put on my legs. Give me that shit. Right. And let me take another look in there. It's turning daytime, they're about to get up. Shit. They woke up and instantly picked me up. I'm going straight to the cage. That ain't good, chief. Dude, there's so many shacks here. I could get the building materials from this village, though. That's good news, I figured out. You sons of bitches. Just eat me already. Oh, what the fuck? I have a chance? Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold up. That whole eat me business? Let's calm down. Please let me out, please! Oh my god, they're trapping me. Uh, that ain't good, that ain't good. Can I get in this one instead? Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. They chopped my head open. They went straight for the head. Damn, I'm going straight to the pyre. They're taking me straight to the pyre. Oh, I'm making my way back to that village. I'm literally just gonna leave my legs next to this guy. There we are. Boom. That was a successful little old sneak. Come back over here, throw on my legs, and deposit them materials. Kind of good. God damn. A horde of cannibals. Oh. A horde of cannibals ran over me. He has a fucking janky ass backpack, but it works. It is funny as hell. Art is so fascinating. I have to steal my resources. Could I? 
Right, that stone richness is literally 100 here. That is going to help me out tremendously doing this solo. Having 100 stone richness is a fucking privilege out here in the goddamn boonies. Well, get ready for a lot of this. Progress was going along great. After sneakily stealing supplies from the cannibal shacks and making my way back home uneaten, I went right to work on building up a small compound in the amazing spot I found. And it was time to put those books to use. As Lean Bean toiled away his hard work would be the foundation of acquiring knowledge and in turn strength both are required to be a legendary swordsman and i started researching to get closer to max tech level one of our goals on the precarious path we have embarked but it turns out i didn't have any knowledge our common sense, actually, because after two days of working Lean Bean to death, these bastard-ass scrotum ticklers came into my perfect little compound and took it over. They threw my ass into the fucking clouds. Every time I've sucked one of my friends into playing this game, I always tell them building a base is like a, a, a mid thing, a mid-game thing you do. Build it early, and you just get doo-dooed on. And what did my stupid ass just do for the last two and a half hours? Yeah, build a base when I can't even beat a hungry bandit in a fair fight. They're intruding in our new home. So, afterwards, I cut my losses and got the hell out of there. I didn't know what I was doing next, but maybe getting out of the desert would be a good start, and hopefully plan B would come to me along the way. After squabbling in the desert, with a clear mind, a sinister plan was formulated. The main drawback to Lean Bean was the limbs we had. They made things difficult to say the least. But one of the maps we found in that lost library in cannibal territory, it was learned that it led to a place called Narco's Trap. But it was deep in Holy Nation owned lands, and one of the worst places Lean Bean could go to, as they are notoriously violent towards hivers, and more so skeletons due to religious beliefs. Not only was Lean Bean a Frankenstein monster of both fears of the territory, just his misshapen form alone struck fear and unease in almost any individual, regardless of allegiance. No sane person dare approach such a creature as Lean Bean. He was better off dead in the eyes of most, thus his existence was an unfortunate and lonely one, and such treatment was shaping his mind and attitude towards the world rapidly. Either way, we would have to sneak past their border and hopefully find an actual robotic limb to start piecing together something usable. Lean Bean waited until nightfall and then made his move in the cover of darkness. gonna let these guys pass and then I'm gonna start crawling. Jesus Christ, they literally walked. There is a fucking skeleton. That skeleton is about to fuck all of them up. Don't think that's a good idea. Hell <laughs> that spider just ascended out of nowhere. This is literally like Metal Gear. This is the funnest playthrough I've had in ages. Order. Black and woman. Oh, black and woman. Not the best quotes you can see from this game. Just ignore that. Alright, and that is pretty much across the border. I've infiltrated their holy lands just in the break of dawn. We're heading straight to Narco's Trap. Thankfully, I'm immune to acid, so the acid that rains here won't be an issue. Alright, there it is. I just have to infiltrate that fortress. 
Yeah, there we go. If I get past this gate by sunrise, I'm in the clear. Look at that, there we go. And those idiots behind me, they're right behind me, but they're also none the wiser. Alright, up, up, up I go. Alright, so I just have to find... Oh shit, there's a spider in there. I have to be a little bit careful looting this place. It's in here. Mm, nope, no good. Engineering research, not very useful to me right now, but since it's here and I have room, I'll take it. Oh, I can pick this one, very good. I'm surprised I can. Don't these limbs... Yeah, these limbs literally give you a negative 70% to lock picking each. I don't know how I'm able to actually lock pick these logs. An ancient science books, okay. Not exactly useful right now, but they're still kind of useful. Oh, that shit is bananas. See if I can get lucky upstairs. More books. Another set of tools. Another book. 7% chance, let's go. Pray for a leg. Please give me leg. Right, come on. I didn't just crawl into this robot infested fucking shithole to not get a skeleton leg. Oh god. Oh good heavens, I'm about to get my ass chomped on. It's right there. Oh my goodness, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Took one big hit. Heal the song. Oh my god. That shit hurt it. I can save myself. I should crawl out of here that way, that way, that way, that way. Okay, whatever. You can't go that way. Man, those spiders sure hit hard. Dude, I think that... What the hell? My toughness is at 32? I think that raised my toughness like a lot. That's actually good. Alright, let's see how lucky we get. Are you kidding me? Medical supplies, that's it. Oh, there we go. Alright. Maybe we'll get leg. Damn, a fucking AI core. Are you kidding me? I knew I would get one. Uh, Alright, let's see what this one has. Alright, see what we got. Another freaking engineering research. Alright. Alright, last one. Last one. What do we get? Oh my god. Oh my god, it had everything in it. The ancient lab ended up bearing very little usable spoils for Lean Bean. So yet again, hardship strikes and we are left almost empty handed with very little progress made. At this rate, Lean Bean would be better off making his own limbs with the rare research artifacts found in the lab, but even they alone would not be enough. With nothing left to do, Lean Bean left the lab, as quiet as he entered. He decided he had taken a liking to the acid rain, as it was a pleasant sensation for him. He began to roam the gloomy wastes of the Deadland, a much preferable type of desert than the one he awoke in. I'm guessing the plan is to just run straight over to the... I'm gonna go straight over to the... To the Deadlands. Literally, the ironic part of this is I was gonna steer clear of the Deadlands entirely because that's where you would steal the really OP limbs. I guess I did end up here anyway, but I'm not stealing them. We'll break the spirit of the challenge. See if I can't find a good place to start building again. Alright. Found another. Wait, what the? I found a place of stone richness that was 100%. But when I put it down, the stone richness reads as 150%. I'm gonna find some building materials to finish this. If I can do that, the ball will be rolling. Oh. I'm 
conveniently enough down the hill here there's a great up outpost I don't know the chances of it spawning building materials but if it does have any it'll be a good start to getting the stone mine running on his way down that muddy hill Lean Bean would find something that would change everything inside were teachers servants outcasts just like Lean Bean himself and how he would ascertain and decipher these lessons it would be disastrous for everyone After crawling limbless across the desert, eating animal corpses to survive, enduring its generous heat and acquiring limbs, braving feral hordes of cannibal tribes for vital building materials, most likely stolen from their communally consumed victims. Using said building materials to build a tiny base and having said base stolen because I'm dumb and I thought I could keep it from getting stolen somehow by some outlaw losers, which I could not because I'm under the floorboards of the food chain, literally leaving the base and making it back through the desert. Twig. Bug monster. Ha 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 ha. What a freak. all the way to the border which separates two giant warring factions of the continent and into another desert known as the Deadlands a gloomy place plagued by constant acid rainfall and outcast killer machines with no purpose the perfect place for an acid immune freak such as Lean Bean after starting up again somewhere else, something incredible happens for a misshapen friend. Pretty much like when you get extra nuggets in your McDonald's 10 piece nuggy meal, and there are no less than 12 nugs in that bad boy, and them shits is actually fresh somehow at 12.40 p.m. What I'm trying to say is, sometimes good things happen to bad people, and the molding of their psyche afterwards is just absolutely disastrous going forward. Upon entering that old robotics factory, Lean Bean was taken aback by all these strange, loud, buzzing machines, all springing to life at once, like barkeepers eagerly greeting wealthy and thirsty travelers. The skeletons had labeled him master. They were now soul-bound, like a deal with the devil. It was non-negotiable. He was just lucky they didn't tear him apart like a pack of bone dogs when he intruded in their place of rest. So now, in the span of a few moments, Lean Bean went from worthless desert dreg to warlord and master. Before I start the rest of the video, I wanted to mention two things first. Include the mod list for this playthrough because I completely forgot to show and mention it in the last video. Though you can obviously see I have the Genesis map installed for ease of navigation, I have about three other mods installed and active. Everybody hates you. More combat animations. The Iron Man mod to prevent saves coming. And of course, the Bedrock Bottom start. As you can probably guess, no hidden XP mods or anything like that. Just pure vanilla Kenshi. And since I just have Lean Bean right now, it's pretty easy to focus on him and get his stats to where they need to be anyway. And the other thing is, holy shit. At the time of writing this, the first Kenshi video is at 5.5k views. And my lord, that video is now the best performing one on my channel after 3 years of making content. Self-taught, by the way. I know that number isn't massive in the grand scheme of things, but I appreciate just how many people left wonderful comments. You guys are a bunch of fucking sweethearts down there in the comments. 
It's nothing crazy, but to see something I made be enjoyed in the manner that it was is just amazing to me, and it's the reason I like making videos. But anyway, I've tried to make a Kenshi video like two times. This being the third attempt over the years, and I'm glad I stuck with it because this is my first real narrate over footage style of video, and to see it so well received is just amazing, and that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Thank you kind strangers on the internet, and I hope you enjoy where Lean Bean's story takes you. It is literally the workshop where all of the freaking robots follow you at. These are basically free companions, but they're not very controllable. Their main issue is that they will attack anything they see. Shopkeepers, random travelers, anything that isn't you. So I guess that is absolutely perfect for a run in which everyone hates me. Well, here we are. I have one hell of an army with me and the doors just kind of flew open here. I need to figure out the easiest way to get myself some, uh, some building materials. They'll protect me for 41,000 days and six hours. Well, I definitely don't want to uh, squander that time at all. So, I gotta figure out how to get some building materials. Oh, hell yeah. And then... Oh, look at that. Straight up building materials. Oh wow, a edge type 1 weapon. Just chillin' here. A single copper. That's kind of a kick in the balls. Alright. With another spider down, that actually gives me the ability to make... A st iron refinery. So, currently have infinite iron plates now that I can build this. Business will be booming soon. Let's go get some food, fellas. I am getting quite famished. I guess they're running off that way to fight. What the hell are they fighting? Ninjas. Alright, I think I'm gonna take the time to get these guys a little bit stronger because they have some shitty weapons. Like some impressively shitty weapons. And these ninjas here have some pretty impressively okay weapons. I love these guys so much. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. What the fuck? We got bad building material here. Uh, a skeleton repair kit? Damn. There we go. Nice. I was getting worried. It takes a lot to repair all these guys. Man, look at that. Another repair kit. I'm about to come up. Getting these guys to carry stuff for me is really good, but figuring out which one I gave what to is a huge pain. Time to finish the stone mine, and we're about to be cranking out building materials. Night. There's like no patrols out here. I don't think there are any bandits. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, literally, just as I say that, those are actual fucking slavers walking through here. I did not think I would see that. We're like near the Grey Desert, but I didn't think they wandered in here. They're literally dying in the rain. Look at them, they're literally almost dead from the rain. You know what? Since this is a good opportunity to get a backpack, I could get a few backpacks. I can use that to figure out which of my skeleton minions are carrying the gear I need. So I'm just gonna wait for these guys to get a little more separated. There we go. Easy. Easy. Oh, there they go. They are fucking bloodthirsty against these iron spiders. Oh damn, they took it out pretty quick. Since I can't run very fast anyway, it's pretty much impossible to get separated from these guys because they are much faster than me. Boom. Alright, now I can sit here and 
crank out some building materials without <laughs> without getting fucking attacked and harassed. Damn, I mine that stone fast as fuck. Look at this. When Lean Bean hungered, his companions hunted and he was fed. When he was threatened, his interlopers were destroyed. He was safe. Lean Bean was learning that the death that passively occurred around him was much better than being treated as a reject. The same mouths that spouted insults could easily lie still and agape not moments later. He started to realize that the world is fragile and life was fickle. When his army was worn and battered, he repaired them and fitted them with the tools of his fallen enemies so they could yet make more fall. Now in a much more isolated area, he would be safe to build an actual safe haven for himself and his new friends. So he went back to work, but this time, no meager outlaws would run him out of his humble lair. Alright, when you're the most hated man on the planet, it helps to live somewhere unconventional. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. The lady wants decent food and that's what we're gonna get her. <laughs> They're standing there gawking. Getting cooked in acid. The shizzle better have a decent load. Should hello. What shining hole do you think you just crawled out of? Can't have a no shit. Looks pretty decent to me. Maybe we should move in. Nah. Once a shithole or always a shithole. I ain't made for luxury. Are we gonna float here yakin? Or are we gonna see what's inside? Alright. Go! Alright, go and they slowly swim. I'm just gonna sit here and let these bad boys marinate. They're marinating good. You pick up your pallet knife and then work that into meat. Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's kind of sad. They're all like, all right, you win. We'll just sit here and cook. Oh, I don't feel bad for these guys, actually. They deserve a fate worse than this. If I had a peeler machine and the murderer of my family and cat was in front of me and there was one black dragon ninja, I would throw the black dragon ninja in there without a hesitation. Oh, is someone at negative 10 on everything? <laughs> Bandit raid to acid bathhouse has failed. Status? Cooking. The game just breaks when you build out on the water. I'm surprised it lets you put any structures out in the water in the first place. Oh yeah, I still have the slight issue of enemy hunt. Dude, with all the robots running under me, it looks like it's bubbling. Imagine just raid after raid, the water, the lake here just gets redder and redder. <laughs> I'm awake behind the safety of your walls, bastard, but I haven't had my fun with you yet, enemy. I expect a good battle from you. Let me show you the might of the truth. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with this! Try not to go blind from the lightning in the... Deadlands challenge. Alright. Go. I only need two building materials to finish this thing. Alright, an actual home. Nice. His hard work was beginning to pay off. One step after the other, Lean Bean was making progress. And worthwhile progress at that. But he could only do so much with the basic materials provided. He pondered the strange books he collected. They had pictures of lightning giving life to strange objects, like the lights in the cities he was exiled from. 
tools and instructions to make alien and wondrous things. These foreign concepts came naturally to Lean Bean, like a plant absorbing sunlight. But, the safety of the murderous Deadlands would not afford him everything he needed. He looked into the desert and saw lights. Lights, he thought. They will take them. And so he ordered his metal army to pillage. And pillage they did. Got caught stealing? No, no, no. I'm looting. The difference being, I'm taking it by force. Alright. Let's see what's up in here. Oh, a shopkeeper with no backpack. That sucks. Well, sir, I have bad news for you. I'm not necessarily here to buy. I'm here to cut you into pieces. Give me your shit. Hey, look at that. Tools to break into the safe. Two sets of tools to break into each one. Alright. Well, I might as well get to work. Oh! Holy shit, I got so many skeleton repair kits. It only took me 54 days to get a fucking real backpack. This is what I've been waiting for. Real progress. <laughs> that ball is rolling. I am picking up steam. With about three backpacks full of ransacked materials, the ruins of a successful raid, and a mountain of corpses lay behind Lean Bean's back. He felt truly alive, jittery almost, and bursting with excitement, and full of life to see his impact on the world. Nothing was more thrilling than the heat of combat, the strange and great tasting foods from the bar, the confused screams from the occupants, the blood that covered him and his cold servants as they did their magnificent work. All that was wrong in the world was made right, simply by killing. I should kill everyone, he thought, and such an idea filled him with a burning and lasting warmth. But for now, books and pages were the battle. He wanted to know them all. Learning felt better than eating for Lean Bean, and came just as natural. He wanted to fully understand the world he planned to cut apart, and so he went to work. It is the hum of progress. The hum of I'm no longer researching in the dark. Might get me some lights going. Let's see. I think I want me a ceiling fan. Oh yeah. Yeah, since I put those robots in these cages, since they lost their arms, now I can just sit there and automatically heal my bros instead of getting stuck on the one that doesn't have the arm by shaking violently because this game is beautiful. I could make fucking skeleton repair beds and I have the two engineering research. Damn, ancient or tech level five wants fucking Eight ancient science books. God damn. <laughs> like a hammer hits a cantaloupe. Like a lion stalks a cantaloupe. Or antelope. I am the antipode Like a lion kills an antelope Like a hammer hits a cantaloupe
This has turned into fucking RimWorld, honestly. I didn't think I would have to get create so fucking creative to get resources ever in my life. That's sweet. I'm gonna need some more fat materials though. More importantly, I'm gonna need some more fuel. I'm gonna fuck you up. So let's get this going like right now. somewhere else snake dear diary <laughs> jackpot <laughs> oh my god there's a fucking robotics workshop here Holy shit, that is a robotic store. There's gonna be a mean ass skeleton in there, there defending it though. Excuse me, sir. And just like that, Lean Bean had located actual extremities. Open now was the world, the ability to hold a sword properly, to draw a crossbow with ease, to turn pages with a single attempt, to walk in a straight line with powerful metal hooves and grab danger by the throat with iron claws and claim life with cold unrelenting hands. Bandit raid moving towards acid bathhouse. That ain't good for the black dragon retards. You know who it is. It's your boy. All black dragon ninjas should spontaneously combust into flames and die. Can't face going back to the boss empty handed again. I can hear Dimmock now. A woman needs her treasure. Ooh. -hoo. Okay, I'll give you all the treasure in the world. Hobu, they never bring me good treasure. Oh, Maki. Well, there's only one way to find out how much loot we got. Attack on your Yachty ass and hurt so bad. <laughs> Orange, you glad I didn't say Nick? All I know how to do is go in there, get a lot of poo poo on my Peter, and a lot of shit on my dick from sticking it straight up their ass. Now let's go, team. <laughs> you should have learned your lesson after your last chicken. With his first Mewtwo weapon, the Black Dragon Ninjas destroyed, and a mountain of stolen goods back at home, Green Bean spent the next month terrorizing the surrounding local area with his metal companions, becoming very renowned for his acts of cruelty. But over time their numbers dwindled, after many raids and ambushes, and on one of his attacks on the holy nation city of Stack, the paladins cut the rest of his iron companions down, Barely escaping with his own life and a valuable backpack thanks to his powerful legs, he ran and returned home, but this time alone. It was the first time in a long time he was alone. He didn't really miss his old robotic friends. Everyone dies, he thought to himself. They had killed hundreds together besides the point, so he sat there alone in his fortress with one thing persistent on his mind. How do I acquire? More of these extraordinary weapons. I'm finally home. 
But this time, without my robot army. Oh, I do have one more robot left. And he ran away. Strange things came to Lean Bean in his dreams. Any time he rest, it was plagued by a barrage of strange visions of past events and perhaps future ones. They felt familiar, yet he did not understand them. Books had taught him well, but not well enough to understand what such dreams are. After his mind settled back into reality, he set off to continue his favorite activity, to draw a sword at anyone that dare approach him and do his best to feel the rush of taking another life. Oh, yeah, again, that experience. I'm not staggering either, which is amazing. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, they're not taking that fucking ration pack, I promise. Come on, there's got to be food here somewhere. Yeah, what you gonna get? Nothing. Stay hungry. Damn, I shot him straight between the fucking eyes. Like, I shot him on the bridge of his nose. Gonna have been packing all that ass. What in oblivion is that? Well, Daniel, future possible comment here. Great start with the video and everything, but what the fuck was that? Where did you get almost 80 strength with a race that has a strength penalty? <laughs> what are you doing there? You cheating or something, boy? I'm not cheating. I promise. I forgot I recorded this footage when wrapping up the last episode where I did a pro Kenshi player move called... <coughs> <laughs> Where I let my game run for an entire night, real life, and used an auto clicker to move Lean Bean while over encumbered to raise his strength, while the last of the remaining robots protected him. I forgot to include it in the last episode because I wanted to get it out in time for you kind people. But back to the video.
Fight after fight, throat after throat cut, blood watered and became one with the dirt and sand, with Lean Bean as its farmer, and the seeds he chose to sow were that of battle and violence, and it fed him better than any meal ever could. Little by little he was getting more and more competent with that shiny sword he stole, getting closer to something of a swordsman. Kind of like how I'm getting closer to get enough points in the McDonald's mobile app to get a single night with Grimace. And I must stress the fact that he can't say no to anything. There we go, there goes two engineering research. There we go, some real repair. On one of his nightly stalks for more victims to hone his blade against, he found an interesting one indeed. But this was no victim, but another sword user more than capable of clashing with Lean Bean. And so, Lean Bean tasted real competition that night. Bubble butt booties, oh my god, they just hit the spot. I don't want peace. I want problems, always! After harassing the poor traveler and persevering through the cuts and blows dealt to him, he whittled them down and claimed victory from his first real foe that cool night in the Badlands. From now on he would seek and defeat anyone he deemed a true fighter in his eyes and would continue to do so until every last one had fallen to his blade. That night he found his true calling and his deepest desire. Oh no. There's a single fucking <laughs> paladin out here enslaving me. It's just a single paladin. Or a sentinel. I can take him if he didn't take my sword. Oh, I did. No one escapes. My mind's telling me no! But the crack out! What? The crack team's telling me yes! What are you doing? He's getting shot in the mouth with the fucking crossbow. My extra crossbow. He took my crossbow and my sword. But little did he know, I had a secret, more dubious <laughs> second crossbow. Stop that. Defiant servant. Oh no, bitch. Give me that bag. And now in the most poetic thing I've ever seen in this game, he's being enslaved. You are mine now, Jumbo. Some fucking justice in Kenshi, finally. Aha, look at that. Hopefully I can- I th Oh. What the fuck? When did these guys get here? Wait. Oh no. I'm about to be very popular. That would explain why it's been so quiet. Uh, let's try and get this up before they actually swim in. The fucking holy nation. Amazing. Thankfully, I don't think they have any acid resistance, so they're pretty fucked. What? It already ended? Are they really leaving? I'm literally building a crossbow for them, and they're leaving. I might be able to take these guys. Let's get some free experience.
Nice, nice. Oh yeah. See how much I get for getting up immediately. Because when you get up surrounded by enemies, you should get a lot. I think that's oh yeah. That's quite a bit. So, always good to get up as soon as you can if you won't get put into a coma. Look at all the fucking legs rolling down. Not not. You can't run from your mistakes, you. Well, where I'm from we never forget our enemies. On behalf of the Empire, bye. Oh. Hopefully I can down one of these guys and get some good gear. Ooh, that didn't do too much damage. Oh, that one did. That one hit him good. Alright, that is a slight problem. Dismantle the furniture first of all. Damn. He sure smoked my ass. Nice. I might be able to get one of them downed. Oh, they are like fucked up, fucked up. I'm gonna be swimming out there to collect some easy gear soon. Oh, yeah. Easy experience. I'm about to come up. Damn. A type 3 sword? That one's. Better than what I have, holy sh... Okay, this was huge. Oh, oh. That was a hell of a fucking haul. Nice, I got the most important ones, the head and the chest, because those are the organic parts, the ones that take longer to heal. That is good news. Green Bean was becoming widespread and infamous with piles of his victims littering the surrounding area of his acid surrounded lair, which was proving too difficult for anyone to attempt to infiltrate to put an end to his reign of terror, no matter the rewards offered. He was truly hated and feared, but now for a good reason, almost like a boogeyman of the wastelands. With a new suit of protective armor, Lean Bean was almost indestructible. Most of the fights he picked were in his favor, despite being a single fighter. Not even the towns and villages were safe from him. Those who rarely survived desperately spread the word of the tall, sword-wielding monstrosity they encountered that had horns larger than a bull's, fangs and teeth sharper than that of a blood spider, height that rivaled that of the tallest beak things, lightning-fast metal arms that could break a sword in half, and worst of all, a bloodlust behind cold, dark eyes that drew away the very life of those who dare meet them. Holy shit, that was the coolest combo fucking ever. I don't want peace. I want problems, always! Dude, these guys just don't give a fuck that I'm cutting everyone out. Oh hey, Logan, the guy I can re recruit. Too bad I'm chopping him to pee- oh, fuck. This is- that was the first time I've talked to someone and it was by accident. That was the first time my character has spoken to someone. <laughs> oh, hey guys, I'm here to join the Shinobi Thieves. Psych! 
You are a sad imitation of ninja. You are the imitation crab of, of fucking ninjas. Fight! Fight! Got him! <laughs> oh, hey, there's a bed in here I can use, that's right. There's a whole bed that I can use to heal. Uh, excuse me, I'm sleeping. Sleeping in here. I'm sleeping in here. Can y'all stop chopping me to pieces? I'm trying to sleep in here. Alright, I gotta skip town for a minute. Those retards will never catch me. They caught me. Man, the fucking tiger should be able to read the fucking- Or be, should be able to wear the martial artist binding. Binding. No good, bro. No good. Alright, I've joined the Shinobi Thieves! Yay! Now I killed them all. So I can use their facilities however the hell I want now. Let me get some training in here. I just love that house and the fucking hub that you can sleep in for free. It's amazing. Nice. There's even some lockpick training. What's in here? And some fabric. Fabric's kind of hard to get. I'll take that. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you who? I'm here to slaughter you! Knock, knock, motherfucker! I'm here to barter with violence. You see, I'm incredibly illiterate, so I can't count out the money even if I didn't have a hypothetical billion dollar debt. So allow me to calculate the sword swings it will take to kill each and every one of you. Getting stronger, getting stronger. Motherfuckers, I'll chop you to pieces, yeah. The bug master, eh? I don't think I'm taking the bug master yet. Wait a minute. Someone's healing. Someone's healing here. They're playing dead and healing! I know you're awake! Right, other than the, ironically, taking uh, down the Tower of Ninjas, Dust Bandit is my, my first solo adventure. You fucked with the wrong bug. I'm about to go fucking dunk on your leader. They're softening me up before I go to the Dust Bandit Tower, so I'm gonna have to go rest. Thankfully, uh, that one place I slaughtered the innocents, the innocent residents of, that's are free, so I don't have to run home to heal. You! You're trying to crawl away! Bring me that pass! I was kinda hoping his leg would fly off. How's my health looking? Not too bad. I might just take on the, the tower now. Gates shut and everything. Is that the leader? Oh yeah, there he is. Dust King. Standing out in the front yard. Just waiting for the next sad sop to try and challenge him. Why is he so fucking big? Oh my god. He's like some fucking uh, Fist of the North Star type shit. <laughs> I never realized how big he was compared to a regular person. Oh, lockpick failed. Come on. Uh, I mean, you're gonna get shot. Pick the lock. Right. Open sesame. Excuse me, big retard with the green shirt. I'm here to chop you to fucking pieces. Alright, dust hard. You're about to eat Nippon Steel. Dude, I already took down the Dust King. Holy shit. He has a... <laughs> He he doesn't have shit. He has standard grade gear. That that's it. Fucking damn. I'm gonna beat y'all's ass with your leader's sword. How about that? Your leader was a sad man that sells of elderberries. Damn! I just hit that guy. Like, oh my god! I'm fucking him up. All right, knock it off with the harpoon turrets. I'm serious. Knock that shit off. Oh boys, yeah, there's a lot of guys in here. You guys have a severe lack of bitches. Y'all got, you guys must have that broke back mountain fucking vibe going on. 
I didn't see a single babe in here. I didn't see a single babe. Get your ass back here. Oh, a specialist toothpick. Don't mind if I do, homie. Don't mind if I scooby dooby do. You have one arm, fool. Fuck off. You know what? You're gonna help me test out my new crossbow. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. Holy shit, that was smooth as fuck. There's a person from the United Cities here called Cat. I'm gonna talk to him. I'll let him, I'll bust him out. If he joins, I'll just d immediately dismiss him. I'll do one nice thing. Alright. Finally free. He's hostile to me. Oh shit, I'm shooting at him. <laughs> Calm down, Lean Bean. Finally free your hero. That's the only good thing I've done so far. Yosh, new sword. <laughs> Yosh? <laughs> Yosh, new sword? Who said that? It was him. <laughs> He just looted a sword and was excited about it. He he keeps going on. Excuse me, I'm here for a Hiver Chain shirt. Now, am I taking this the easy way or the hard way? I'm gonna lockpick this chest. If anyone has a problem with it, let me know. All right. Thank you for time. I'll be opening this. If y'all want to try to stop me again, feel free. A single building material. Jesus Christ. Oh, I got the blueprints. Yeah, I'll be taking that. I might as well take that. I might as well take that. I might as well take that. Yeah, I'm taking from the hive. Do something about it, you scrawny neck little motherfucker. After slaying a village of his own blooded kin and family, a family in which he shared no fondness for, the same family rejected him naturally, as the pheromones that controlled them as a colony were long gone from Lean Bean, and so he was a stranger to them. He didn't have any memories of having life prior to waking up alone in the desert. Perhaps that's why he instinctively crawled back home, to the high village in the desert, to steal from them. Was he a mighty leader that got banished for a grave mistake? Or was he defective and dumped from the hive as a result? It is unsure, but nonetheless, the deformed stranger was ostracized, as all hivers are, when they survive the pheromone withdrawals and gain free will as a result, deformed or not. His antenna was no longer a relay for loyalty and commands, but more so, the horn of a devil. A devil that saw his former kin as just more screaming meat to cut through in the path to get what he wanted. Once inside, he was able to locate blueprints for proper shirts and under armor written by his own kindred hivers, and so began great efforts to make his own, in the comfort of his gloomy fortress. With more armor, he could become even more durable and powerful in combat, and in turn challenge more spectacular fighters and acquire their extravagant weapons in his burning quest to become the best in the world. A quest that he would follow vehemently, no matter the cost. Lean Bean hammered and hammered away, and studied the blueprints closely. The blueprints that would see him even more able in combat, with more armor. During this tedious task, a strange ringing headache began to come and go, often lasting just seconds, and often lasting just minutes. It was never consistent. It had started ever since he massacred the high village for the very blueprints he was working on an annoyed lean bean to no end. Coming and going at will, it was like a droning siren emanating from the far west, very similar to the feeling he felt when he first awoke in that damned desert. He persevered and continued his work. If headaches were to be a part of his mounting challenges to be the best, then so be it.
And these fucking guys are literally here, and they're gonna steal my shit. I am busy swimming. I'm busy swimming. I don't give a fuck. Get straight in there and get to chopping. Oh, holy assault. I have three attacks on my ship right now. Alright, guys. I'm gonna walk in here, and if I see any of y'all spurging out, I'm gonna... Okay, they're over at my storage. This door is getting closed, and no one is leaving out of here except me. They're stealing my ration packs, no doubt. Thanks for the crossbow training, nerds. <laughs> I literally just sat here. <laughs> I need. Two building materials for that? Jesus. Excuse me, this is my house? Well, you're welcome to die in it. That's about it. You're going to love this. Trust me. What you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a Super Saiyan. And this... This is what is known as a Super Saiyan that has ascended past a Super Saiyan. And this is to go even further beyond! Uh, I think the creature with the cleaver should be somewhere over there. So, let's go see if he has a nice weapon for me. I'll show you the difference between running with and without the pants on. So this is with the pants on. I'm still pretty damn fast because of these nice legs I ended up getting. But, if I take the pants off, I speed up quite a bit. But that's with the pants and without. So in a strange way, it's more effective to run around with no pants on. After the armor was complete, Lean Bean headed east to distance himself from the droning noise spewing from the west. He ran as fast as his metallic hooves could carry him. And maybe he would find another magnificent weapon too. You, it's dangerous here. Be careful. We can help you. Holy crap. That is a literal noble hunter. I need to take that crossbow. These guys are pretty fucking mean. Honestly. Let's see if I can just sprint over to the noble and take him out. I hope I don't get shot in the head. Alright, alright, alright. No, 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 no. There we go. I made it. I just have to down him real quick. Alright. Oh yeah, they want to revive another barrage. I just need to down them. Come uh, on, smack that dumb son of a bitch. Oh man, they're fucked up. There we go. What level is it? Holy fuck. That's a Masterworks Eagle Cross. No joke. Alright, and the fucking ammo for it, thank you. I almost want to take the robes. I'm taking the robes out of flex. Noble robes to flex in when I'm at home. Hell yeah. Nice. I think that eagle's cross looks good on my back. I'm gonna see how long I can fight these guys before I have to run. I'm gonna run before they take me down. Alright, 
I might have to bug. You guys aren't being very nice to me. I don't think I can run. Because my legs are fucked up. Slippery worm. Gotta heal my legs. I wish you could prioritize what you're healing, though. fight it is. You pay for this. I'm looking too good for me. Seems I'm definitely paying for picking up that Eagle's Cross. There we go. I can't let that one get up. I might be able to get out of this. There we go. I'm fucking them up now. That dexterity is a fucking lifesaver, honestly. I pulled that that fight out of my ass, honestly. What the fuck? The, e <laughs> the eagle's cross is missing its draw mechanism. It's missing the damn strings on it. What the hell? It's like gone, gone. Is it because of my char Is it because my character is so tall? It's more like a gun now. It looks like a fucking shotgun now. That kind of looks sick. Just heal up and head to the next place. Uh, I think it's somewhere over here. I I don't think I've ever been in this one. I've never done this uh, settlement. Neither of the black dog. That was my first time killing everyone in there. Black scratch. Yes. I think it's above black scratch actually. Down. Right for us or die by us? Well, let's see which one happens. They always end up fighting their own slaves. Their slaves always end up running on. He's fucking running on. You know, there, there's a good chance they join you. They'll follow you around if you <laughs> unlock their shackles. Uh, hmm. Would be nice to have a other party member. You know, surprisingly, honest to god, not a single crash this playthrough. I'm here for that cleaver, you dogs. Alright. These guys aren't too tough. Is that the leader? Alright. Leader's probably gonna be inside, but there's a lot of these guys. Their outfits do uh, give you a culty vibe. By the moons, bleed the filthy Outlander. By the moons, bleed the filthy Outlander. Moon cult. Yeah, moons, as in, I think the bigger one is a plane, honestly. I really hope we get to see what that is in there. Can't you too? Damn, I love that swing so fucking much. If uh, you're interested in the mod I'm using, uh, it is the... The More Combat Animation, or version 11 apparently. But it is my favorite fucking mod. I played this game without any mods for the longest time, but we found, uh, I ended up finding that one, and it just changed my life. It makes watching combat so much fun. He's trying to warn the others, not today. Silence. 
Oh hey, I can use their beds, badass. Those are geese flying outside my window. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but... Oh hey, I can use their beds, badass. Man, I cannot fucking wait for the building in Kenshi 2. The building in Kenshi 2 will change the way the world revolves. All practices of the world will change and improve, I dare say. Time to make a... The leader said, oh, he has a nice little house in here. He has a cook. Is that him? Another Hiver Prince? He has a nice bounty on him too, nothing crazy. Damn, he's pretty fucking built. God damn, what's his strength? He is built and handsome. There are a lot of fucking farmers in here, jeez. This will be the easiest Mewtwo weapon I've gotten. Doesn't even have any armor on. Kinda makes him scarier. Damn, I just downed him in two hits. God damn, now that is a weapon. I'm gonna leave these guys outside, so I use that cleaver. I wanna see how good it is. Oh yeah, there we go, attacking time. Damn, 119. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You're gonna pick this lock. Excuse me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I love that swing so much. It looks like you're trying to hit a fucking, a fucking baseball or some shit and they just flop over. More water. I was kind of hoping to find more fuel because I'm always gonna need more fuel. Somebody help. Shut the fuck up, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. This thing is the- or the probably doesn't help that they're not armored, but this thing is the literal arm taker 100. With another excellent find of a weapon, and an inferior hiver prince put to the sword, Lean Bean felt more complete. But the droning noise did little to stop its assault, no matter how far he traveled. So, Lean Bean in turn headed farther away still, in hopes that it would seize, or at the very least lessen its disastrous effects on his head. It is unsure what was the cause. Did he murder one too many people? Was it their very anguished souls that sought vengeance on his mind? Whatever it was, Lean Bean needed to find out, and fast, before his very brain inside him slowly melted away. Perhaps that would be best, as no one would mourn him should he pass. If the tech hunters are here, there's definitely something worthwhile in that factory. And they're not gonna stop me from getting into it. Yeah, this place is just like the, uh... The scrap house. Black Desert. So, I would assume it has something good in it. Iron spiders. Security spiders. Definitely want that hacker now. It's gonna make fighting these spiders much easier. Oh shit, there's a lot. So uh, get to business. You guys might fuck me up. Alright, this might take a few attempts. I'm definitely getting an AI core out of this. Nice. Good hit. Bubble butt booties, oh my god, they just hit the spot. Damn it, he <laughs> hit me in the chest. Oh my god, that is fucking engineering research. Don't mind if I do. Holy crap, there's a skeleton in here. Or get a good hit on him. Oh my goodness. These spiders are no joke. Alright, little by little, I will kill all of them. You want some, bitch? Oh, he has some mean stats. This guy is formidable as hell. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here! Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's try this again.
double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Damn, he mean as fuck. <laughs> oh my god, he just dropped me on the ground and hit me in the fucking head for my trouble. You think you're just gonna drop me off out here in the rain? Listen here, bucko. We're hitting. You don't know who you're fucking with. Uh oh. Alright, that sounds. That looks about right. God damn it. I'm fucking folding like a goddamn camping chair. I'm literally gonna need the bed. The help of the bed to beat this bitch. These spiders are no damn joke. They're out here and they're mean. I got him. Holy crap. It is a staff. Holy shit. Right, let's see what this dump had. Jesus. That was one hell of a fight. A fucking AI core. Thank you so much. Another AI core. Don't mind if I do. Oh, a book. Another AI core, jeez. Right. I think that's about it. I hate to say it, but I'm literally fucking pimping. Alright, so. Currently I have three of the Mewtwo weapons. And I don't know how many more there are, but that's a good amount. I'm thinking this hacker is too useful for right now, so I might drop the use of crossbows as cool as they are. So I've put the Eagle Cross in here for now. I think I'm going to try and get myself some robotic limbs researched. So I'm going to do the Hyra Skeleton Legs, Hyra Skeleton Arms. There weren't most of those books I had. God damn, look at me. Look at me all fucking pimped out. God darn. I'm the sexiest hiver in this broom. Or I'm the sexiest hiver in the acid bathhouse right now. Let's go. Oh yeah. Now this is gonna be pimping. Oh, there we go. Making out some fat arms. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. And it came out as a masterwork. Oh, okay. The new and powerful arms were wonderful. Perfect even. From all the maintenance on himself and the old robot companions, he understood the moving parts of a skeleton better than most skeletons themselves. But felt they were too heavy and cumbersome. Being proud of his natural swiftness with a sword, he felt they were too counterproductive. So, he left them along with his other treasures in the fort for now. Maybe they would come in use for later. The droning noise and headache subsided for the moment. So, Lean Bean was once again on the search for more magnificent weapons and their leaders to slay. To add more weapons to his pile, and more corpses to his name. In the search to become the greatest fighter in the world in which he was quickly climbing towards with frightening speed.
тобой жадный хлоп. На край погнули сей смуток, Лед не ной, рано утек, Дети ж мужа зимой сад. Но вчера жил не сае прак, У всей бои с воды мужи, Не хотел бы к бейбе и кучи. На беду едно, а так всегда бы едно, А боже, не все губи, як у посты не ед. Будь с вами, а ну рано слаби, А так ты посуди, а посадь себе сен. Так посадь все сен, а ты поеде. All right, I'm about to get two weapons out of here. Mio two weapons. There we go. This was the weapon to bring. Without a damn doubt. I have the fucking robot slayer here. Make it past a few lasers and a human thinks it's invincible. Yeah, take another look. I'm not exactly human. God damn, I took him out of the fight so fucking fast. I take that. Nice, three AI core, AI core so far. Alright, sweet. I'm gonna go drop all that stuff off. If I make it fucking back alive! Alright, two more weapons collected. That means I have a total of five of them. Ooh, that'll do it. The master works all, you can't go wrong! Oh hell yeah, now I'm stupid fast. I'm fast as fuck, boy! Clean Bean had now collected more magnificent weapons and things to help him study, to better understand the world around him, for better or for worse. These joys were cut short, however, as an old familiar pain started once again, stronger and more vicious than ever before. For Lean Bean, the pain from cuts and blows he received from his victims and opponents brought him a strange pleasure as part of his passion for combat. But this pain was becoming debilitating. His head throbbed deeply as if it was ready to explode. He had two choices before him. Weather it out again in hopes of it stopping, or find the source of this torment and destroy it. He had freed his mind from the Queen's effects. Whether it was intentional on her part or not, it'll never be known. But regardless, he was free, and his mind was open again like never before. But this action would have unpredicted and lasting effects. Not only did he free himself from torment, but in doing so, he also severed the ties of all the Hivers under the Queen's control, indirectly killing almost all of them. Saving the few that may survive the pheromone withdrawals as he himself did. He had genocided almost all of his very own people. He 
swam back to shore, where the effects of his actions would be seen immediately. Holy crap. In the time it literally took me to go over here and kill the queen and dump her in the ocean, there are literal patrols of fucking southern hivers here already. God damn. I don't think I've ever seen the hives over here taken over by the southern patrol, so... Well, let's see what I got myself into. Killing the Hive Queen may have upset the balance of the world very slightly. No Hive! Meets for the team! She sacri- Stop giving us no Hive! We just want your meats! And you run to the booty and give it a smack and then he turns around cause he ain't know what happened. King Gita Pampana Kitu with the run better run. I'm throw my gong. You're about to see the most fucked up Amazon delivery same day shipping ever. Dude, I've never seen this building. What? This is the coolest dude. Oh, what? Are you serious? Is this literally... What? There's little paths? Damn, they love this fucking faction. Now this is like the most unfillery feeling faction ever. Elite drone guard. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck is that? Who the f- What in the fuck is this thing? That's the king? Oh! I gotta try. Oh my god, this is fucked. I did not know what I was walking into. I'm um, excuse me. I am here for the king. Oh, fuck. That's the queen of the hive, and it looks like a normal hiver. Looks like the other one. Uh, the queen wants some herself. What weapon does she have? I just got a downer. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. Okay, I did it. I might fucking yoink that real quick. You can't keep getting away with this! Oh, they're mad. There's a little safe in here. This is the coolest shit I've ever seen in this game. I can't believe I've never taken time to come over here. Where's the feeding grounds, fellas? Yeah, there we go! Get him, boy! Get him! No wonder I've never been here. This place is fucked. Uh, let's see where they put me. Sacrifice. Where the hell are you taking me? Is that intruder out? No, find him put in cage. Oh, just a sink. There's poles way out here. I gotta, you know, get the fuck out of here. All right, let's see what happens when I put them on the pole. Oh, it died. That one hit was enough to do it. Huh. <laughs> Oh my god, the the king thing approaches to eat him. He's walking over. He, I think he is. Oh, he's going straight for the queen. Ooh, ooh, hee, hee. Holy shit, he's going wild. Oh man, he's getting eaten as <laughs> He's fucking getting eaten. What the fuck? fuck is it doing? What the fuck is it doing? It's... Uh, it, it, I'm out of... I'm, I don't have words. Hang on. Let me recompose myself here. It's running at me. <laughs> I've been getting hit a lot, as you can see, because I'm at 84 fucking defense. 96. Toughness. And then I have the same strength and dexterity somehow. Alright, time to collect my next year 2 weapon. Oh boy, they're ready to rock as soon as I approach. 
See how good they fare against the chop techniques. You want to get away with this? See where this uh, where this Mewtwo weapon is. I'm here to make a withdrawal. Your weapon. Yeah. Fuck Jesus! I love that swing. Let's strip some of the, ar the armor off of some of these guys, because they're going to be getting up soon. And I don't want to fight them all again. Oh shit, they knocked me out when I went to go turn off my alarm. I think they- so, since my weapon's so big, I think- yep, they just left it out there. I'm going to have to go back down and get it, but... Inevitably, attacking a prison, I've ended up in it. Oh. There's a lot of people in here. Whoa. There's a southern hiver in here. Y'all forgot to take my backup sword. Fucking idiots. Oh, let's not forget the cleaver. I don't know what I'd do without that thing. There we go. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, damn it. It was the- I- it, was that the same fucking guy that downed me last time? <laughs> All right, he took my cleaver and my backup sword, but he forgot to take up my uh, my backup backup not sword but stick. <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> you should always assume I have a backup backup weapon. Right. Where's the hiver? Where's that piece of shit? I've killed too many people with that sword to lose it. Hey asshole! That <laughs> he's wearing it on his hip. Piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna figure out that this cage is literally a fucking, uh... The cage is a suggestion. Or I got something special for you. You forgot my backup, 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 backup weapon. The Fist of Doom. But sock the fuck out of this. No. Alright, let me just grab this bad boy. There you have my sword. Bitch. Letting these awful men out of jail. <coughs> Can you unlock this cage? Imagine being a bandit and not being able to unlock your own cage. I owe you shit. I promise you I'll come in useful. Right. Get the shackles first. Now the most important one. I am free. Ha 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 ha. I'll kill everyone. You! You have caused me so much fucking issues. Son of a bitch, get back here. Whoop his ass. Holy shit! Yo, but I got some fucking hands. Jesus. Clean Bean had freed and watched all the prisoners run off to cause havoc, as was his intent. They would rapidly spread word of his bloodshed and further his infamy. They said their uneasy thanks and returned to their presumed lives of crime, rapidly putting distance between them and their strange savior. All of them but one. Esfer was starstruck upon seeing the bodies of the guards littering the floor. The same ones that mistreated him and tormented him for years in that prison. Last time he had seen a proper corpse was when he had slayed his late master in cold blood. 
Who was a strange, tall hive that freed everyone like some sort of hero? How could one person slay so many? If S for himself was that strong, he could never be abused or stuck in a prison again. A golden opportunity arose right before him that day. If this kind stranger would teach him the ways of the sword under his wing, no more would his life be spent at the mercy of others. Right before him was the way to strength, and in turn, true freedom. And it had come in the form of Lean Bean. character but he will be my apprentice yes he's going to be the strongest southern hybrid drone ever he's gonna be better than beep he's gonna be beep 2 basically he's gonna be like uh what halo reach was to halo 3 that's how cool he's gonna be but uh we have a lot of training to do yeah yeah i can work with that lean bean had made a very unexpected choice what could cause such an out-of-character decision from a bloodthirsty being such as him? As for followed his new friend, one that refused to speak a word back to him. The questions he politely asked received no answers. Other than glancing back to see if he was still following, the tall one ignored his entire existence in fact. So, as for quietly followed, in hopes that the strange swordsman was leading him to a better life. Either way, it was nice to be free and feel the cool night air once again, but not as nice as the acid rain. It reminded him of home amongst the southern hive, and was more pleasant than he remembered. Upon reaching the strange fortress on the acid lake, Esfer was shocked to see this was in fact the lair Lean Bean called home. Esfer waited outside patiently as Lean Bean went inside, a habit as a servant he still retained. After a while, Lean Bean emerged and still without saying a word, he followed. He offered to carry the bag, but was met with silence, so still, he followed. Wherever they were going, he would follow. This is where the training would begin, it seemed. And like most, Esfer's first lesson was hard learned.
<laughs> no, please. Glad those spiders are slow. I would have fucking killed him. Alright, I'm just gonna send him on his way and pray he makes it. And then while he's heading over to the training grounds to go fight hungry bandits, just as Lean Bean did. Oh wait, hang on. Me mean Bean? I'm gonna name it Mean Team. Teen. Hang on. Mean Team. Alright, alright. Let me derail the video real quick right here. So like... I could make a really cool mo training montage of Esfer just running around fucking up hungry bandits just like Lean Bean did. But the truth is that's kind of boring, I think. So that's why I settled for that little movie cutscene thing you saw before. Was it good? Did you think it was a little cool at least? Is it like cringy in a meteoric fanfic kind of way? Do I have the competence to tell an interesting story in a video that was originally just a challenge run without making it a confusing mess? I have no clue, I'm just having fun with this honestly, but the thing is, I easily fought like a hundred hordes of these hungry bastards over the course of like two real life days. Again. When I was getting S for his stats up and pretty much did nothing else, so it's a little boring and I didn't record a lot of it because of it. Afterwards though, I did pull another one of those uh, pro Kenshi player moves called Feeding your friend to the fog men. Where they slowly eat the limbs off of them, and you can replace them with badass ones. It's, it's kind of awful sounding, and it's arguably less painful than a trip to the peel house. You veterans know what goes on in the peel house, and we don't talk about that yet. So yeah, I'm using the old school method of limb removal, but the good news is... Guess who finally got a use for those kick-ass industrial lifter arms I made like two episodes ago. Alright bud, this is the, s the sketchy part of your training. Alright, good luck with that. I'll be watching in the distance. Easy to my legs! Alright, some nice new metal legs. Alright, <laughs> just scoop them off the pole and run the hell away. I'll get the other arm off later. You see, it's a big, it's a big joke. I stick him on the pole. They eat his limbs off. It's a big game we play. Pick up. Yoink! Thank you. Like seconds away from dying. I gotta stop the bleeding. Let's get right into the limbs. We have animals for sale, and it's like, uh, yeah, nice animals and shit. I got one free of charge. There you go, buddy. One free of charge. Yeah, y'all enjoy that. It's very tame, very friendly. Enjoy. It's fucking stuck in the rock. God damn it. Prank him, John. <laughs> you already know. It was time to set out on a real journey. Esfer was excited to travel the world, but nervous to make his mentor proud as well. The next fight, he would give it his all. Esfer learned that his mentor is very quiet during travel, always watching and on high alert, like an animal, no matter how calm and quiet it seemed. Another strange technique his master used, and seemed otherworldly. He had learned the ways of survival were much more than just swinging a sword, and tried his best to correctly interpret his master's lessons the best he could, so that these same techniques could make him strong as well. Communication between the two was awkward and difficult at most times. Lean Bean had little understanding of social skills and had a pathetic rhetoric in general, but more than made up for it in raw intelligence and natural cunning. Despite this, Esfer was happy to have someone willing to teach him the world, how to fight, operate a crossbow, and basic science such as electricity, and the inner workings of his new limbs, how to maintain and clean them. Esfer considered the strange person he followed as a friend, something he'd never had before. He never saw his master go into town for supplies. He actually never saw any money either, not even a single coin in that whole house. How did he get all the high quality food that was stored? Where did all the books and materials come from? It made little sense how wealthy he was. 
As they approached the peaceful nomad village, a lot of things would become clear. Something felt wrong as they neared, and before he knew it, his mentor was murdering the inhabitants. Unsure, as for followed Lean Bean and together they went house to house slaughtering everything that moved inside. Then stripping them of everything of value, except money. All of it was left behind. Without saying a word, they left the gruesome scene. Lean Bean walked calmly and leisurely, as this was second nature to him. Meanwhile, Esfer's heart was beating rapidly, and his stomach felt sunken and cold. He told himself they were probably bad humans, just like he was, and that they did a good thing. After all, Esfer was much stronger now. How else could he have cut them apart so easily? Horde of tiny people. 
breaking into the home. Why always try to hunt the Rillo? After finding another rare weapon, and it wrested from their owner's now dead cold hands, S4 carried it and took a liking to the large weapon. Its destructive heft and weight was perfect. He could simply hit things ridiculously hard. With such power, even Lean Bean seemed impressed. Armored foes were now blown to smithereens, then cut to ribbons. The two had a nice synergy going together, but S4 still struggled to keep up with Lean Bean in combat. His speed and brutality was unmatched, and often left fights untouched, coated in blood, before Esfer could even get a swing in. It was a terrifying sight to behold. He led them in search of their next target. This one was located on the southern isle of the Fishmen, where their Alpha had another weapon for them to challenge ownership for. is coming I promise you everyone is coming for action No, 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 we can't. No, we can't no, do it. Yeah, we can't no, the action we have is too much. Man, the Blu-ray cannot manage that action. We should do both. We can do it. Don't, 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 With another satisfactory weapon found, the duo left the blood-soaked isle to be washed by the rain. Esfer didn't understand his mentor's need to collect these strange weapons. He had enough of them to supply a small army already, but was still on the hunt for more still. Why was he so insistent on collecting them? Regardless, Esfer followed like always, without a word. He was always at Lean Bean's back. It felt good to tear apart monstrosities. The fishmen were no better than the cannibals, so they were even doing a good thing. No one would miss them as they rotted in the ground.
not say it, watching his father with that big sword, it made him feel somewhat proud. The confidence it gave him made him fight like a rabid animal, and like animals, together they searched for more prey. Why the hell do these guys have such good ass armor? What? These Swamper Gate Guards had some fucked up gear on them. Dear Diary. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> they look fucking awesome with my outfit here. What? Get lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Mewtwo weapons, the most I've ever held. I still got a few more to collect. Now, this is epic. Dude, I'm, I think with the uh, Shek, what I'm gonna do to defeat them, is I'm gonna crawl in with Lean Bean and then kill Seto. And then that's gonna trigger that fucked up raid where they send all the five invincibles and S to the stone golem at you. But what they don't know is, as I sprint out of Admung like a bat out of hell, I'm gonna have a base built. 
And me and Esfer are gonna be on two fucking revolving barrel harpoon turrets. So when they show up, they're gonna- I'm, I'm gonna hopefully shoot them to death. Problem is, these fucking idiots don't know how to use turrets. I think, uh, Esfer, since he's a hiver, he does get a bonus to turrets. He has a like, he, but he is currently at negative three. Ooh, crack. Damn! Damn, they're in all those AI cores. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up shop in the fucking uh, Leviathan Coast. Set up some of those turrets and the, uh, you know, go, go to town. <laughs> So off I headed to level up Lean Bean and Esfer's turret skills to begin the plan to destroy the shack. A difficult task to say the least. But on my way to the Leviathan coast I started thinking about that cannibal village from the beginning. Kind of close to the coast actually. You remember the one right? Back when I was just barely scraping by. How nice they were to old Lean Bean back then. I remember, and I thought to myself, how nice would it be to pay our old friends a little visit and reminisce on old times. And to say they were happy to see me is an understatement. They welcomed me into their village like family. They let me into their homes, showed me around their little huts. A beautiful and intelligent people the cannibals are. Never have I seen a more sophisticated and kind group anywhere. And we ended the day by chilling by the human cooking fire pit in the center of the village. Man, it was a nice break from all the bloodshed and weapon hunting, if I'm being quite honest. Turret training day. Shooting platform. Is a great success. There are so many Leviathans here. It's now if I can get just a good barrage from two turrets on the stone golem, she'll die. Fucking tech hunter coming up here to start doo doo. Fortnite Battle Pass. I just shut out my ass, put it up to PC, cause I need need to get that Fortnite Battle Pass. Gonna watch men kissing. Gay men kissing. That's what I want to watch. If you see this boy kisser, shoot on sight. This boy can kiss so many men. He can kiss a man, all right. This bad boy can kiss so many men. After familiarizing themselves with the turrets, part of the plan had fallen into place. For now, another village lie in the way for them to strip for supplies. Hey yo, what the fuck? Wait, what the hell was that? Okay, that was kind of funny, but let me finish the narration, alright? <clears throat> they went house to house in the night, taking whatever they needed. Cutting apart anyone- oh my god. Stop. Stop. Hey, yo, what no. the fuck? Don't you do it. I just gotta finish this. I'm almost done. No. Turn off the weird chance. Turn those off. Did you slow down the footage? Yeah, yeah, they're just gonna cut them up. Here, let me finish this narration and fuck off for a second. The chants are not funny. The chants aren't funny. You're the only one that thinks that. Let me wrap this up. I have a lot of shit to edit still. Did you turn that up? Did you turn the chance up? Look, I have to go to work later. You know what? You know what? Let the rest play. Let the rest play. Might as well. 
Thank you, Bob. You enjoy your stupid little segment. While I was still in town, I decided to pay a little visit to my very first base. The one I made in the very first episode, and surprise, surprise, it was just like I left it. So, I cleaned it up a little, and decided to spend the night in it as well.
After Lean Bean woke up, Esfer spun tales of a strong Shek, a commander of an army of bandit slavers, the perfect target to receive their merciless might. To Esfer's surprise, his tall mentor was very receptive to the idea. It was a strange feeling having his input recognize his advice. Just like that, they were on their way to do something he had suggested. He felt honored to have his mentor take a suggestion let alone immediately act upon it. They made their way towards the Forbidden Zone to the southeast, a truly desolate place where few dare venture, a place of skinless corpses, metal-masked maniacs, crab-obsessed war seekers, and of course, the bandit slaver warlord, Balaman. Brotherhood fights for freedom. Either you fight with us, or you fight against us. Make a fine weaver, but like all new weavers, you will sleep as a whelp in a cage. Open your eyes. Look at me. I am your new king. I am the one who will transform you into a warrior from a coward. From a coward who turns their back on the starving, who allows the noble snakes to lord over the lands, and does nothing, who turns a blind eye to all atrocities in the name of survival. But now, this is your chance to change, to be a hero and shed your shameful past. Now is your chance to prove yourself, but not alone, as part of a brotherhood, as part of a revolution. Welcome, my brother, to your new home.
Nice armor. Too bad you guys don't have the attack to back it up. Um, excuse me. I am here to fucking kill you. As soon as my apprentice gets here and all that, I should have put him on jog or we're fighting. What's up, fuckers? About damn time you got here. I was getting my cheeks beat. This guy took forever to. My apprentice got forever, took forever to get here. These guys are pretty tough. These are model. Our upgraded guard, so they kind of fuck. Don't let your kids watch it. Should have stayed down. You wouldn't lost your leg. Wait, not supposed. Main Bean hates to be touched. Every time the other one goes to heal him, he freaks out. Every time, it doesn't seem to bother him that he's getting healed. Just that they're, they're touching him. Wait, there we go. Some skeleton repair beds. Get these limbs topped off. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> There's a fucking generator just chilling out here in the fucking bushes. What in the fuck? Oh yeah, you guys are what I would like to call chop the fuck up. Oh, it's a leader right there. All right, I'm gonna attack the leader. Goodbye to your shitty little faction. The only faction that is allowed to exist are fogmen and cannibals. Cause that's the only thing that'll be left after I'm done killing everyone. I am one million years old. Give me that AI core, boy. I can't believe this guy has an AI core. <laughs> Tear out his heart. What kind? Fuck out of It was an all familiar scene by now. The two triumphing over a pile of mangled corpses. But this time, with a brief rest. And during so, as for notice his mentor had found something very uncanny. A mask. Like the brainwashed madmen wore. It had a strange aura to it. He watched his master gently bend it to fit his face and made it his own. Behind the mask, his most terrifying feature was hidden. Those cold, dark eyes. Ones that showed his sword where to plunge and his hands where to gouge and claw. Maybe some advantage? To keep the blood and sand out of the eyes? To hide humanity shown to his apprentice, it is unknown why he took up that mask. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. So I don't know if you noticed back there, but uh, since Lean Bean and S for our hivers, well, half hivers because of the cybernetics, but the skin bandits don't want any beef with me. I mean, they walk, they walked right past me, like I was part of the scenery. So why did I chop them up? Well, I had an amazing idea. If I play dress up with their little suits, maybe I can stroll right up to their leader, while the rest are none the wiser. So. The boys got ready for prom night, and they went to go look for a date. I 
have infiltrated the skin bandits. And I'm walking up to their leader as we speak to chop him apart and put him in the peeler. And that Nodachi will be mine. How yuck! A drifter from out of the pits. Kraven. The sword, taken from Savant, the Skin Lord had been a match made of destiny for Lean Bean. The sword, like its owner, was tall and sharp, ready to take life in an instant, with length enough to reach the heavens and strike down the very angels should its master wish it. Whatever should face the end of that sword had better have nerves of steel and Ocran at their back, should they have a hope to survive it. Before them, another village and another weapon to find. Just heal up in your bed before I kill you. Back home at last, with many very heavy, one-of-a-kind weapons, as Esfer became seasoned with battle, he too began to appreciate them. Sharp and finely weighted were they, each a work of art in its own respect, 
from an otherworldly time, each a small piece of history, all unspoken and all unrecorded. Save for the fleeting memories of the past wielders, if there was anything Lean Bean wanted other than the thrill of a perilous fight, it was to collect these masterworks and claim such timeless and brief history itself for his own. The duo rested, sore and tired, but soon grew restless for battle. Such a change of pace is difficult to embrace. Such fighting comes with many lasting effects. Peace is hard to accept when the weight and thrill of a fight is so powerful. As for now began to understand his master's restlessness for combat. It's addicting for a seasoned body. Feels good to win, and it occupies the mind like a lover's embrace. Not long after they arrived, they planned to seek another target. The Bugmaster. To the far east. Where the people of the Shek lie fractured and dormant, raging quietly for battle. They too are restless for a fight. One they would soon see spiraling to the death.
Queen Bean returned home again to meet his loyal follower, and together they planned on ways to fight the leader of the Sheik, the strongest of all their people, Asada the Stone Golem. The plan was to draw them to a trap and have them slain, but the bait would have to be extraordinary. I just found that. A specialist grade Hiver shirt. I'm at the we go bullhorn axe. And I'm just gonna take that because it's not necessarily a Mewtwo weapon like these are, or like this one is, but it's a unique weapon.
Now that is a retarded amount of skin spiders. That is another retarded amount of skin spiders. You see, the trick to fighting the bug master is to ignore the skin spiders. The only ones you want to fight are the ones directly around the tower. That's only a few of them there. They're just running in. Holy crap, that's a lot of skin spiders. By the way, I think the bug master is just to showcase what a hundred strength will do to a man. He got fucked up. <laughs> An injured lean bean can outperform fucking S for I might have use for this bug master.
With the Bugmaster defeated, he would serve as the perfect bait for Honor Hungry Sheck, and now the perfect place had been discovered to lay the trap. The duo worked quickly, using materials raided from the Sheck themselves to construct the very trap they would no doubt soon assault. Actually, were they to pursue normal lives, they would have made fine and honest builders with the way they worked. The only issue with this cunning plan is that the stone golem herself did not show up to challenge ownership of the Bugmaster, only death-seeking underlings of the disbanded tribes. Another idea, a plan from the mind of Lean Bean. It was to infiltrate the capital and home of the golem to make a personal attempt at drawing her ire, and bringing the Madden Bugmaster would be a great distraction to set loose once inside. Lean Bean set off alone to the capital, and he took the powerful captive with him. Once outside the capital, he waited for nightfall. What? <laughs> I received the reward for all the fucking money even though these people hate me. They just- Okay. Oh, oh wait, fucking idiot. Get out of the cage and wreck havoc. There we go, yes! 
There we go. All right, the plan is going. Shit, she's almost down already. All right. I'm taking my prize and I'm leaving. What? He did, but... Okay. Uh, uh, he, he didn't knock her out. I, it just happened to fucking auto knock out because I was still stealth. It, it said it. Okay. Yeah, it said, wait. This literally fell apart. Okay. I did not even mean to knock her out. The whole idea of bringing his ass here was so I would have a better chance of taking her. But I would say that since she's already fucking downed. God damn it. This, it literally fell apart hardcore. I did not mean to fucking knock her out. What was my chance? Like 20? How did that even work? Okay, I'll just down him and that, we'll pretend that I. Holy fuck, I took his arm straight up. Alright, we'll pretend that I knocked her out just like that. Then I picked her up. The game did not mistake my action of wanting to physically attack her rather than knock her out. So now I have her as my trophy and the trap is set. I'm fucking out of here. Good luck, Bugmaster. Good luck with that pissed off horde of shit. And I am out of here just like that. Very good. The trap is set. Now that should piss them off really bad. I can't believe it gave me the fucking money for throwing him in the cage. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Since I didn't spend any money before, all I have to do is make sure it stays at the exact amount. Alright, get in the cage. And your mother comes here. And that will be one of the faction leaders down. I can't believe it knocked her out. Here we go. The most powerful trap ever. This is the most ludicrous shit I've ever done. Alright. What the fuck? What is a f what are these hungry bandits doing in my fucking shack? Is is Esfer not gonna do anything about it? Esfer, fucking beat these guys up! What the hell? Fucking stinking homeless just ran into my shack. Fuck off! I'm trying to do something here, idiots. Oh boy, here they come. There it is. Shit, that looks like two. Looks like two squads coming, that's a little concerning. Oh well, bring all your horned savages, I will cut them down. duo had defeated the Shek and their leader. A mighty victory. Leanbean was happy with Esfer's performance, something he rarely expressed directly. Without their leadership, soon they would revert to their old ways. The few that survived the assault returned home, or joined the dishonored savages in the wilds. Esfer wondered if they were doing the right thing. Did it even matter in such a cruel world? Sure, he was much stronger now. 
and he had found a true purpose under his master. Maybe it's just the burden of victory, and that not everybody can win. Thank you. 
The effects of the stone golem's death were drastic for the people of the Shek. After a few days of riding and infighting amongst their people, the end result sent the majority of their warriors heading straight to the Holy Plains, the very home of their sworn enemies, the Holy Nation, in a last ditch effort to cause as much damage to them as possible. Most of these warriors did not bring food or medicine, as they did not expect to return alive. The once prosperous holy lands had fallen directly into chaos. All of the fighting brought the attention of the fogmen, who came in droves to feast on the weak and the corpses of the fallen. The world was beginning to fall apart, directly because of the actions of the duo, and soon, the holy nation would be next to fall. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. I'm actually sleeping. Oh shit, I can't. <laughs> that looks pretty comfortable. Can I see that one? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, 
Look out. I'm coming. I cannot hold it in anymore. I just wanna... With both High Inquisitors slain in the same day, soon Lean Bean would siege the Holy Nation capital in an attempt to take the Phoenix, the Messiah and leader of the Holy Nation, and the 62nd of a long line of prosperous rulers would soon come to an abrupt close.
Agents of darkness be purged. Goodness, homie was straight up chilling outside. Holy crap.
with the phoenix murdered and put to rest. Soon the slaughtered farmsteads and towns would be cleaned of their religious status and their survivors to be put to work in the United Cities, where crops were once tended by prayer and faith, were now tended by slaves and their masters. This was the way of the United Cities, much like many great nations, built up by the exploited, with the many serving the few. But in the end, it will be the couple that destroy them all. Oh, 
that once separated the two warring factions were now owned and dominated by the United Cities. Taking advantage of the Holy Nation's fall, its garrison quickly changed from paladins to samurai. But they would not have long to get settled in, as Lane Bean and his accomplice were approaching, seeking entry to the Great Desert. After slipping back into the vast desert where it all began, the duo began to plan on how to destroy its inhabitants. Where its influence was far spread and powerful, attacking the capital would draw its collective forces and surely overwhelm the duo. The only option was to sever the ties of the work camps, where those who were enslaved fueled the machine that was the United Cities. And without fuel, taking the capital would be much easier. So they set off to destroy the final bastion of civilization that humanity had left.
banana machine, son. Oh boy, I'm going to heft the capture. Oh wait, no. Hang, hang, hang. Not heft. Detour, detour. So at this point, the game had been running a long time without an end port on this save. Which is always nice. I don't really like importing because it resets a lot of stuff and makes it easy to cheese the game in some ways, but... But anyway, I'm waiting down here on this throne. Waiting for this major leader slash partner of the United Cities to wake his lazy ass up and come strolling down to see Lean Bean on his throne. So I can give him that... Kenshi Home Invader Domestic Katana Violet Special. So I'm waiting and waiting, just looking out for this dude to come rolling down so I can get a cool shot of him approaching Lean Bean and Esfer in the throne and everything. But after a while, I realize this bastard is not coming down to parley. And by parley, I mean absolutely get murdered. So I pan the camera up there and this piece of shit isn't even up there. I waited for probably like three and a half minutes, but he's nowhere to be found. Some of the samurai guys are literally sleeping up here, but they're like invisible in the bed. So I'm freaking out. How am I gonna kill all the major faction leaders if one of them isn't there? But then I remember. I go, wait a minute. This is basic Genji gameplay. This happens all the time. I just need to import and bring this lazy bastard back into the game so I can chop him up and continue the mission. But, if you remember, one of the rules was no imports. No imports. And this makes it the second time I've imported technically. That means I guess this run is over. I can't break my own rules again, so this is the end of the series. It was a nice run. I got pretty close, but what can you do? Thanks for watching anyway, and thanks for making it this far. I guess I'll see you in the next series. So, I imported to fix this janky masterpiece anyway. And lo and behold, guess who came strolling down the stairs? The man of the hour, right on time. Give me the Timbs. Nah. Give me the Timbs. Nah. Give me the Timbs right now. Oh, okay. I guess I'll go fuck myself then. Point. <laughs> oh, you fucking teleport instant transmission down. Maybe that's what happened to the other guy, but he's like in the building. Let's get out of this dump before it really falls apart. Oh, look at this poor guy. Absolutely starving. But not for long.
A duo headed together towards their most powerful opponent yet, one of the strongest beings on the continent, one that wielded legendary strength, very much so on the same level as Lean Bean himself, 
and commanded a militia of skillful followers, the mighty anti-slaver Ten Fist. But Lean Bean commanded something much more impressive. It was Esfer, the most important weapon he had ever collected. Slow down, I'm in the spurt. Ah, ah, sorry. Ain't that a surprise? I got a gun. <laughs> Do you think we let you get away without relying on your shoulders?
separated from their law. Traitors, siding with the humans, treason. Now we are nothing. What was the point of it all? There it stands, history in its most vital form, that of absolute power. Shrouded by haunting mystique, this history is not written eloquently, but simply carved out with a sword, fueled by obsession. Now lies a bloody bleak canvas, resting upon millions of corpses and their bones. The author of it will be remembered forever. Romanticized and damned for all eternity, immortal and undying, here lies the third extinction. No more opponents, no more weapons, all of it is now beneath him, except one, one of his own creation, and it had followed him to the end of the world. The <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you.